again, I'm Tom McCarty, and I'm a Boeing engineer, and in February 9th, 2000, we went on strike against the Boeing company, and in Seattle, at that time of year, it's rainy, and it's cold, and it's miserable, and we we're on the picket lines 24 hours a day at almost 50 picket sites in the Puget Sound area, as well as Portland, and even in Florida and Utah. But in Puget Sound particularly, the, uh, the rainy weather and the, um, the cold just made it miserable for people. And when we started out on the picket sites, we had the open 55-gallon drums that everybody associates with strikes. And about the third day into the strike, the um, Puget Sound Environmental Protection Agency, or the state EPA, claimed that those burn barrels were violating the pollution standards in the, in the Puget Sound area in Washington. And the, uh, one of their um, inspectors dropped off a brochure at the SPIA headquarters that um, gave the regulations for what acceptable burning barrels would look like, or wood stoves. I built these with a, with a friend of mine in, uh, in my garage and we built 26 of them and uh, the group in Everett built the, uh, built the ones used up at the Everett plant so all together we provided about 50 of these for the, for the Puget Sound area and the design's been copied kind of from then on. I mean the, the following year the Newspaper Guild went on strike and SPIA volunteers went up to Seattle and built these burn barrels for the newspaper guild when they went on strike. Well, one of the things that struck me about that, about the regulations, it described a wood stove that can be used for legal burning, and a note at the bottom said, and they can be home constructed. And that just, I just went away with that thought that we could build something that would meet the EPA requirements and deliver them out to the picket sites. So after that uh, tinkering around in my garage, I came up with this design, which is really kind of a copy, I'm sure, of things that I've seen over the years. But we were able to build this in 20 minutes with about $18 worth of materials. And soon, um, we were building these to outfit all the picket sites in the Puget Sound area. And they really worked well because they uh, burned the wood a lot more efficiently. There was much less smoke. We could cook on the tops. The little, uh, the little lid allowed us to add, add the wood easily. And uh, kids would gather around here and keep warm. And it, and it really became part of the tradition of, of the Boeing's or the Spia strike. I mean, it lasted 40 days and 40 nights, as we like to say. And the uh, burn barrel came to symbolize that strike. And it really represented the solidarity that we established on the picket line. We got to spend a lot of time talking to one another, getting to know the people we work with. Uh, we brought our kids and our wives and our brothers and sisters out on the picket line. And we established a community where we really did learn respect and learn to value the contributions that each of us bring to this organization and this community. For many people, it was a hardship to go without those wages for those 40 days but it was a great experience in learning how to connect to the people around you. And I'll never forget it.